Oh gosh. Amen. Amen. Do you know a white lady in England? Of two son twin. One was black and one was white. Yes. Well, let's check the family way back then. Yes. Just a black man in the mix. All right. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Everybody get quiet now. Yes. Can I move on? Because yes, we are men that can prove that they can have children, but yet they become, before I become pregnant. I know you want me to act like this, but I... And that man loved that child more than anything, the father. Care for that child, grew everything for that child. Put his head on the chopping block for that child. But in his heart, he knows he's not the father. Yeah, yeah. But he still loves that child. Yeah, right. And that's what it's all about. Yes. Love. We love. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 I said, I want to move on, but, but, but I want to speak to Zion children, all right? Yeah. I want to be comfortable. Yeah. I just want you to understand what I'm. I just want to be truthful to you. We are so what we call. Father's image, which is an idolization of one's father. Yes. And often protect that one. Someone who look for guidance and protection. Father figure. Father's image. You know, I went to Jamaica and was walking up the street and a young man way back he says, Hey sir, hey sir. So somebody pointed me and said, somebody calling to you. I turn around and look, and the young man run come and say, I'm not begging you nothing, sir. I just want to know. Is your father used to work over here? I say, yes, I say, man, you're just like your daddy. You walk like him and you look just like him. Father's image. It can be the way our child hopped. I have children outside, okay? And every one of them, who's my child, act like the ones that are home. Respectful, manageable, do all things like the rest. Yes. If one act like, that's a jacket, I mean, um, <laughs> Sometimes the real father is just <laughs> you find your own word for that. You find your own word to listen. Some father is just not right. Some father, a person know. If you talk to your daughter, they'll kill you. And if you see where they want to go yeah. with other people's child. It makes you want to commit murder. I mean, I shouldn't say that. I shouldn't say that. He don't want nobody to talk to his child, but he want to talk to people's child. That's what I'm trying to say. Hey, hey, hey. All right, now. Yes, sir. Protect your somebody. The next thing I want to say is you must be very careful yes. who you want to be your God, the child's Godfather. You must be sure not to choose anyone who don't have no godliness in them. <laughs> you must choose wisely who you want to be your child's godfather. Because such a one can represent the God they serve. If it's Satan, they represent him. And then your child of a godfather who is a devil worshiper. So you need to have somebody who is godly to be your gods. 
child of God the Father. It's necessary that the God the Father represent God Almighty, our Father, who art in heaven. And I'm saying all this to you because some of you just pick somebody in the world because they have money to be a God, the child of God's father. And they are nothing but what I just read to you. I just talked about this young man who walked away from his father's house. Prodigal son. Spend off all his money, wasted. But we need somebody who call their God, their father, Jehovah God. That's my father. Amen. And he's supposed to be your God, the child of God Father. Okay. Can I can I skip now? You need somebody who is in the image of Jehovah God. So once again, the tie up to this church subject, our sermon is called How oh, Father My Daddy. And from this, we need to get the truth in action. You need to have an open mind here today. We need to get deep into our heart the knowledge of what it means to be our Father. Right. Which is a, a, a new note of a personal intimacy yes. yeah. with Jesus Christ. Anyone who accepts Jesus Christ as Lord is told by Jesus who your Father is. Yes. So, so when you pray, say, Our, Our Father. And, and back in the Bible, Jesus sends a message to disciples. In John chapter 20. In John chapter 20 and verse 11. And again he sent another, wait a minute, John 20, 20, 11, okay. And again he sent another servant. Mary. Yes, 11. 20, 11. How am I looking at Luke? Luke is not, you don't belong here, Luke. Now you can tell. That your pastor is getting old, huh? <laughs> Looking at the Duke and one John. <laughs> but it happens. Yes, you know, many times I hear my wife calling Marlene and she needs Mercedes. <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes they want Paul and they call Marlene. Marlene? That's a Marlene. You know, when you say Marlene and my granddaughter correct me, it's not Marlene. And a Marlene is Marlene. <laughs> so I'm not going to be careful what I say about her on Mercedes, because she will correct me. But I, I thank God for her because she tells me what is right. John chapter 20, verse 11. But Mary took it out at the sepulchre, weeping. And as she wept, she stooped down and looked into the sepulchre and see two angels in white sitting, the one at the head and the other at the feet, where the body of Jesus had laid. And they say unto her, woman, why we pissed out? She said unto him, Because they have taken away my Lord, and I know not where they have laid him. And when she thus said, she turned herself back and saw Jesus standing, and knew not that it was Jesus. Jesus said unto her, Woman, why well, weepest thou? Who seekest thou? Supposing to be the gardener. Said unto him, Sir, if thou have born him hence, tell me where God laid him, and I will take him away. Jesus said unto her, Mary. She turned around. 
He turned himself and said unto him, Rabbi, which is a master. Jesus said unto her, Touch me not, for I am not yet ascended to my father. We go to my brethren. There it is. And said to them, I ascend unto my father and your father, unto my God and your God. No, no. We see here that Jesus Christ saying to Mary, Go tell my disciples that I go to my father and your father. Under the Old Testament, the only father the children of Israel knows was Abraham. They never called God their father because he wasn't. But because of what Jesus did on the cross and died, and anyone who accept him, it was it is God's plan that when anybody accept my son, my only begotten son, they become my sons also. So Jesus said, Go and tell my disciples. And I'm going to my father and your father. Yeah, so the first time they are intimacy here, they have a daddy in heaven. Praise the Lord. The disciples need to know, know who their father is. And not only that he's their father, but he's also their God. The children of Israel only know him as God. Yes. Children of Israel only know him as a stern law giver. Yes. 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 But glory to God, yes. with Jesus Christ, we know him as a lover. Yes. So Jesus said, Mary, go to my disciples and say to them, I go to my father and your father. Praise the Lord. No, a lot of you ministers are preaching. We are all God's children. Amen. But that's a big lie. We all are God's creation. But for you to be a child of God, you must be born again as uh, Jesus Christ. To be born of the Spirit of God. To be a child of God. Praise the Lord. So ministers who preach that hey, we are all children of God, stop. Because you are sending the wrong message. You missed the point, huh? Some of you Bible students also think that when the Bible talks about children, and they can prove it to me, because in Genesis chapter 6, 1 and 2, and Job 1 and 6 and 2, these are speaking of the sons of God. They say, God has sons. But not by birth. These are angels, okay? As a matter of the Bible says in, in uh, Hebrew, chapter 1, I think it is. I don't want to go through everything because I don't have the time, okay? Hebrew chapter 1, verse 5. For unto which of an hand for unto which of the angel said yet any time thou art my, my son. This day have I begotten thee. And again I will be to him a father and to be my son. Which, which one of them? And again when he bring it into the, in the first begotten into the world, he said, let all the angels of God worship him. Yes. Of the angel he said, who make an angel spirit and ministers of flame of fire. But unto the Son, he said that throne of God is forever and ever. A scepter of righteousness is a scepter of thy kingdom. Yes. Praise the Lord. Amen. So God said, I only have one begotten Son. And the Bible really playing with that, right? Jesus Christ was the only begotten Son of God. Is God firstborn son of the Holy Spirit? Is the one who put the seed in Mary's womb? Are you still here? Yes. Wow, it's so quiet now. Seems like everybody wanna go home. 
Praise the Lord. I look into Luke chapter 1. Verse 31. Luke chapter 1. And behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb, and shall bring forth a son, and shall call his name Jesus. He shall be great, and shall be called the Son of the Highest. And the Lord God shall give him the throne of his father David. And shall reign over the house of Jacob forever. And of his kingdom there shall be no end. You still here? Yes. Then said Mary unto the angel, How shall this thing be? She I know no man. I never have no sex with nobody before. And the angel answered and said unto her, The Holy Ghost shall come upon thee, and the power of the highest shall overshadow thee. Therefore also that holy thing which shall be born in thee shall be called the Son of God. Right. So we see Jesus sent a message by Mary to disciples that because of what he did on the cross and how to confess him as Lord and Savior has become God's Son. So tell them, yes. I go to my Father and your Father. We become children of God due to the death of Jesus Christ.